right check it out everybody we've got very important things to go over here and that is proper tension of your timing belt and of your V wheels and it's got to be able to slide by gravity alone very smoothly it shouldn't just drop and clank but it should glide and the way that I usually test for belt tension I just feel it and you kind of learn to know as long as it's in there it doesn't have to be very tight and you definitely don't want to over tighten it and that's I think one of the biggest issues right now is that you have to definitely check your belt tension and you have to make sure that this stepper motor moves smoothly if you over tighten the belt you'll know because this stepper will click much harder go clunk, 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 if you try to manually move it mine moves perfectly fine and ideally you want this belt as loose as possible but not to skip teeth under acceleration so and the way that you set the belt tension is pretty simple you loosen either nut there's a nut a bolt on each side with a t-channel nut and you loosen it and you just have to kind of pull with the wrench and either tighten or loosen it and I think for the people if you have the issue of one of your axes stopping after a few minutes of use that's highly likely that you have too much resistance on one of your axes and it's choking your motor and it's overheating your stepper driver on your control board and it is shutting down and if you constantly have it stop mid job that's probably most likely your issue the next thing to go over is the tension between the v-wheels these v-wheels so if they're too tight then that'll also choke your axis so you want them loose but not so not so loose that you've got wobble here mine I always make sure you absolutely don't want any wobble and mine doesn't wiggle at all it is firm and the way that you tension these the bottom wheels are in slotted holes and you just have to kind of grab two wrenches an allen wrench and an open end wrench and you gotta loosen them and kind of just by fingers squeeze and tighten uh, takes a couple tries but I mean I figured it out pretty quick and you'll have a nice smooth moving axis that's the most important for a good working laser machine I mean I went over when I got my original machine I checked every single axis two of them wobbled and one was way too tight on my original machine and I fixed that before even assembling it but that's I mean I'm just pretty tedious and I mean you kind of have to expect what you're paying for here but I mean I used my second LD4040 to I flipped it upside down I put a z-axis a cutting bed and and I mean I got noise in the background because it's almost constantly running and I'm cutting the box right now so good luck to you guys Hopefully this has helped.